everyone, welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Today we're going to do a technical teardown on our rather enormous LG monitor. This here is a 34 inch gaming monitor. It's absolutely enormous. I bought it on eBay uh, in good faith and between me buying it and it arriving back at my property, I found that it had this massive split down the screen and the screen didn't work properly. It's a real shame because it's such a beautiful monitor. The guy was really kind and really nice about the whole situation, actually gave me my money back. We don't know quite how the crack got there, but I can tell you that I'm pretty sure it wasn't me that did it. <laughs> Keep watching to the end of the video because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna repurpose some of the things that are in this device. There's a backlit display in here that we're gonna make use of as well. And that will just give us more lighting in the studio here, which is fantastic. And there's the drive electronics in here as well, which we can repurpose. Without further ado, let's tear this thing apart and have a look inside it to see what makes it tick. So how do we get in here then? Actually, I found that using a screwdriver works best. You can get around here and you can start just putting a little bit of pressure between the two sides of the clamshell housing. And bonk, there you go, you can hear that just pop apart there. And eventually, oh, there we go. We get to that point where we can take it apart. <laughs> There's nothing in here. <laughs> Seriously, there is quite literally nothing in here. This is a really quite amusing. This is the control PCB. Hang on to that because somebody might want that. They might find that useful. If we remove the screws, we should find that underneath the metalwork here is a large backlight and we'll be able to use that as a lighting project. Let's get the PCB out. There's nothing wrong with this PCB at all. Retain the clips on the side of these connectors here. Just push them in and there we go. We can disconnect those connectors relatively easily. So these little connectors here, you just push on the back of them and they'll pop out. A little bit of pressure on the back tab there and they'll pull away. All right. Let's have a look at this PCB. This heatsink here can easily be removed. And we've got some little plastic tabs here. If we pop these tabs out, we'll get the heatsink off. Then we can have a look and see what is driving this LG monitor. <laughs> Small pair of pliers. Okay. There we go. So these little plastic tabs have got little expanding mushroom hats that pop out and keep everything in place once they're inserted. So now we've got all of those little plastic tabs out, we can start thinking about just carefully lifting up one of the corners. There we have it. So here we are with the PCB and uh, we have one, two audio channels. And so just a little side note then, what I thought might have been audio amp smoothing circuits were actually in fact high voltage drive circuits for the backlight. Then we've got a Novatech micro ball grid array that is the NT68370 processor connected to two SK Hynix. So this is um, a South Korean manufacturer. Again, both micro ball grid array devices. It really is quite impressive, the processing power of, of this device. This is like a little graphics card effectively on board. And then we've got the drive output over here. We've got here a, a regular HDMI port, which uh, comes out on an angle. We do have the ability to be able to cope with DVI, but that particular connector is not populated. 
And we've got another D type display port here and a HDMI port here. And then we've got a 19 volt power in jack. So that's pretty much the PCB. Not a lot on there. And there's certainly not a lot on the other side of it. If we just turn it over, it's pretty much unpopulated on the other side. Getting those little heat transfer pads back in place. And we'll go ahead and fit our heat sink. Pop our little connectors back in. They should just snap in quite easily. Yeah, the little spring-loaded devices which keep that heatsink pushed down in place. It's really quite a cool little design. Let's get more of the screws out. So having undone more tabs and more screws and removed more metal work from this device, we've now been able to gain access to the LCD control PCB. We managed to get most of the bezels off of here as well. So next part of the mission, and actually if you look, you can see that this LCD is split into two halves. We've got the left half, it says here, of the LCD control PCB, and then this guy here is the right half of the LCD control PCB. Oh, it's all a bit wobbly now. Aha. So after a, a lot of tab popping, <laughs> we have now been able to remove that LED display and it's control PCBs. I've got to be very careful with this because clearly it's got glass. It's a very thin layer of glass on plastic. This here is a massive fluorescent backlight for this LG display. Again, this is probably worth a few quid, but there's a couple of connector ports, one here and one here, one at each end. And those connector ports will give us the ability to be able to power this up and use it like a large box studio light. So this is worth keeping, but all the rest of that junk isn't worth keeping. The actual display itself, the LED display itself, all of the metalwork, all of the bezels, And the backboard, they can all go out for recycling. Oh, that was hard work. So I got rid of all of the old plastic and all of the old metal work. Found the power supply for it. I plugged it in. <laughs> and guess what? Look at that. We've now got a magnificent light. Let me show you how beautiful this is. <laughs> so it's completely saturated my video camera. I'm in an attic area that has absolutely no windows. And this has got such a lovely sort of blue, sunny day type of light to it. It's on a frequency that's representative with daylight, which is really going to lift the mood in this attic because at the moment, pretty much every light that I've got in this attic is an incandescent bulb, apart from a couple of strip lights up in the ceiling. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fit this into the attic and then we're gonna have something that is close to daylight in the attic. This is gonna be absolutely lovely. Oh, look how bright it is. Ladies and gents, as always, Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Give us a good old thumbs up. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, people. Bye for now.